Hi, this is Piro. I want to talk a little bit about um, fundamentals and in the process of that sort of show how a relativistic uh, worldview approaches uh, reality. Now, it's not to say that my worldview is the only relativistic worldview, but I think it does give, give an idea. There are certain characteristics which you would find in other relativistic worldviews. So, for example, I've been talking a lot about what is fundamental um, in epistemology, okay, which is the reality of perceptions. And so then I use that to define existence, and then existence becomes a, um, a founding term in epistemology. Um, but epistemology is just one frame of reference, you know, looking at the world through the eyes of the question of what can we really know. So I can debate what is fundamental in epistemology um, with someone else, uh, without it being a different frame of reference. I mean, they have their own epistemology and they might dis disagree about what's fundamental. And the most uh, basic uh, definition, by the way, of, of fundamental is we're just talking about things that um, that you define other things in terms of. So, if you know, if I have a bunch of truths here and I define them in terms of this lower layer of ideas, we consider them lower because they're foundational, they're fundamental. And um, in a relativistic interpretation, you wouldn't expect to find something truly most fundamental. You would expect skeptically to there to be other candidates for what is fundamental. And then also you would suspect that anything could be de decomposed into the relationships of its parts. And you might always be able to find something more fundamental. And so when we're talking about fundamental, we're comparing two things and saying, well, which is more fundamental? And whichever thing is not put in terms of the other, that's more fundamental. Um, but there's also the fact that this was all within epistemology. Now, as a frame of reference, uh, can a frame of reference be fundamental? Now, to say that a frame of reference is fundamental would mean that it's a, it's a primary uh, frame of reference. It, it hints at something relativists don't do, which is trying to find a universal so a universal frame would be the most fundamental frame. We don't really have that. We have other frames uh, which are candidates for being the most fundamental. And so as a relativist, when we're talking about the most fundamental frame, we might just be talking about our favorite frame of reference. Um, or hopefully, you know, the reasons why they're our favorite. You know, what is the situation in which we apply to them? Now, epistemology to me is such a fundamental or pseudo-fundamental or favored frame of reference because uh, while I don't believe in universals, universal truths, there are still things that apply to all humans, right? We are all human. We all have this human condition. And so it seems to me that the first question uh, before we can really develop any theories and any frames of reference has to be epistemology. And, uh, of course, not the first question we ask chronologically, but first in terms of being fundamental. And so all the other questions end up asking this question about, well, how can we know something? So I think of epistemology as the most fundamental frame. And it's a frame you could use to work on ideas about other frames and so on and so forth because it tells you what is knowable. There are other candidates for the most fundamental frame. So I'm going to take two examples in this video. Uh, there's a materialist frame, okay, and this is a frame of reference in which all things are material. Some people call it an objective model or a uh, concept of the objective world. I don't do that because I believe materialism has moved beyond uh, objectivity. Of course, you know, it has nothing to do with materialist in the sense of the greedy, uh, you know, shallow, selfish definition of of uh, materialism you know that's that's liking things materialism in this sense of course is really physics belief in physical reality and a, and a theory about physical reality and another frame of reference uh, that's a candidate for many people at, for being the most fundamental frame for them is spirituality now in any given frame we tend to identify the domain and that's what we use to define the framework and uh, and then we look for concepts that pertain in that domain. Then we organize these concepts, we uh, categorize and sort them by various means, and we try to find out what is the most fundamental. 
And of the parts that we find that are most fundamental, we seek to define those, and then we look among the terms that we've used to define those, uh, and we seek the further fundamental. Now, if we ever were able to finish this process and break down to the most fundamental, uh, to the most basic level, some term which couldn't be broken down, then that would be a truly fundamental truth. If it was not limited to a frame of reference, it might be a universal truth, but as a relativist, we I have to admit that ultimately they always are um, based on that frame of reference. If we found an ultimate, or a, excuse me, a most fundamental frame of reference though, then the most fundamental truth in that frame of reference again would be a candidate. And this video is a little bit about how I have done that, I think, in epistemology and why still I have not been able to, not that I'm trying, but uh, to break free of the limits that skeptical relativism puts on our knowledge. Okay, so for example, in epistemology, I think it's sorted quite nicely the way that I see it. Now, there's controversy, but, um, but thinking the ideas through myself, I believe that the most fundamental thing is an existence of perception. Um, I use that to define our existence. Now, in a very similar epistemology to mine, it would be possible to say that the most fundamental thing is will. It would not change my system that much um, to say that will is fundamental and then perceptions come to the will. In other words, I'm defining perceptions in terms of the will, so I say that the will is more fundamental. Now, I don't do that, though I think it might be true in some other frame of reference, but epistemologically, I don't think that that's true because everything I know about the will comes through my perceptions, just like all of my knowledge. So the existence of those perceptions, epistemologically, is more fundamental than the existence of my will. But if you take another frame of reference entirely, like materialism, now this is a candidate for being a fundamental frame of reference, and in fact, if I'm allowed to play with the term fundamental and say that, you know, I'm allowed to have multiple fundamental, uh, you know, elements, then I also believe that materialism is fundamental. I'm a materialist. When I call myself a materialist, that's what I mean. I think materialism applies to everything. So in terms of um, uh, our imagination, they're material, meaning and a unicorn exists not as a real horse-like creature, but as an idea in my head, and the material component of that is whatever's going on that a functional MRI might see in my brain when I'm thinking of that idea. Now, what's most fundamental in the material realm, of course, is not going to be perceptions. Perceptions are a phenomena that's explained in the material world at a high level, not at a fundamental level. Now, what's fundamental in the materialist world is perhaps matter, and yet matter is the same as energy, so energy, let's say energy. Everything is made of energy. Perhaps that's the fundamental uh, idea in materialism. Except, what about the fields? Hmm. So, there should at least be energy in fields. Now, maybe there should be space, but probably space is an aspect of fields, or at least they're combined in a way that is not separated out in this concept of fields. And it's really hard to see that it could be separated out. So let's say that there's energy in fields. Well, that would be two fundamental things, except for weight. The fields are not all the same. There's a gravitational field, there's electromagnetic field, uh, fields, plural, that interact. A pair of fields, of course, is, is uh, you know, is related, closely related. And there's potentially even other fields. So, which of the fields is uh, fundamental is a, it's an interesting issue because if you've ever heard of them, you know, the, the idea of trying to unify in physics, this is what it is. They're trying to take the fields and show how they're really sort of one field, one phenomena expressing itself in other forms. Um, that's the whole purpose of that and getting a theory of everything is trying to have a fundamental statement that would apply to all of those fields which we have never been able to correlate to us they just seem like very separate things now my belief in in materialism is that i suspect there are unifying principles everywhere 
but not that we can necessarily find them. I don't know that we won't find, uh, well, like what we found in wave particle duality, that you find a metaphor that works, being a wave or being a particle, and they work in certain perspectives, in certain frames of reference, and then not in other frames of reference. 